Welcome on back to Skippers today. I have three must-add players to add for your fantasy baseball teams in week 22. First player this week is going to be Jake McCarthy of the Diamondbacks. He is 43% rostered. Four people say, oh, he's been taken already. No, he's still available in 57% of leagues. 288 average, six home runs, 31 runs batted in, 12 stolen bases, and 806 OPS. He started 17 of the team's last 19 games, and he's done this by performing just as well against left-handed pitchers. He's slashing 286, 355, 464 as right-handers as a left-handed hitter, 288. 345, 455. He's not a big source of power guy, but he's homered for the second straight game. Uh, Wednesday gave him six homers and 234 plate appearances. So that's close to a 15 homer pace to go along with 30 steals over a full season. That's really good for for pretty much any player, but a guy who's not going to hit for a ton of power. This season, uh, Jake McCarthy has raised his launch angle six degrees. He's hitting 324 against breaking balls and 393 against off-speed pitches. He had a way to runs created plus of 99 in the first half and a sick second half with a 141 way to runs created plus and a WOBA of 376. This is a guy with a little bit of uh, power and some steals at the end of the season. This is, you're basically, if you're in a roto league, you are trying to find what your team is weak at and trying to um, add to that. So if you need some steals and a little bit of power and a decent average here, I would be picking up Jake McCarthy. Second guy this week is going to be Rowanzi Contreras, one of my favorite players in all of baseball. He is 17% rostered, 4-4, four and 3-5-7 four, ERA. He's pitched 68 innings. He has 65 strikeouts and a 1-3-4 whip. He had a good 3-84 ERA over his first 50 major leagues innings, and then he was sent to AAA Indianapolis in late July to limit his innings to help with arm health. That makes sense. The Pirates aren't going to be any good. There's no reason to just run Rowanzi right into the ground. But now you need to be picking him up that he is back. He was hit around by Boston in his first start back, but that's okay because he came back and he had seven strong innings against the Braves on August 22nd and then shoved against the Phillies with five um, scoreless innings and seven strikeouts. You look into some of the advanced analytics, they don't look great. The expected ERA is up and FIP and all those type things. But again, this is a 22-year-old prospect who has posted a K per nine north of 12 in the minors. Runs is one of the best sliders in all of baseball, and he throws it over 30% of the time. It returns a run value of negative five and has a batting average against of 165 the 10th best swing strike rate on all sliders in all of baseball, and he has an 84th percentile chase rate paired with a 71st percentile whiff rate. Ronzi's a great uh, candidate for a breakout next season, but we could just be seeing it at this point at the end of this year. So you might as well be picking up Ronzi Contreras. And finally, the third guy this week is going to be the saves option. Jimmy Herget of the Angels. He is 8% rostered, 2-1, 5 saves. 53 innings pitched, 52 strikeouts, and a .94 whip. This is what Scott White had to say. I was reading up on him. Uh, the Angels traded Rizal Iglesias without an obvious heir to the closer role and no real candidates either, but all of a sudden, Herget is the obvious choice. That 28 years old, he has saved Wednesday against the Yankees, which is three straight saves for Jimmy Herget for the Angels. He was usually a multi-inning guy. He's really funky as well. Um, and he's not very much of a conventional closer guy who just throws really hard over the top. But he has an ERA of 270 now, a whip of 094. And even though the strikeouts aren't very high, there is some upside with Jimmy Herget. He has a funky delivery, but he's been able to get outs consistently. If you're needing a rack of some saves at the end of the season here, this is a guy you have no problem picking up and dumping off if he doesn't continue to get the saves for the Angels. But I am picking up Jimmy Herget. Thank you, everyone, for watching the little shorter one this week. We are winding down here of the fantasy season. Let me know how those seasons are going. Hopefully, we're going to be able to win some of these leagues here very soon. Uh, let me know who you're picking up. Subscribe to the Discord. Uh, no, join the Discord, subscribe to the YouTube, and we will see you guys next week.